right, people, welcome back to the card review. So today we are actually looking at a new Yang Zing Synchro Monster. Yes, Yang Zing got a new Synchro Monster. I think I got another one too. So I might go ahead and review that. But uh, yeah, another Yang Zing Synchro Monster along with, you know, Yao Z. Basically, and I think there's one other one and then this one. So uh, this looks like a giant dragon chicken. You know, I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter lately, and I mean, this definitely looks like it could be like a design in that game. Just does some big giant dragon chicken thing, you know? It has the chicken legs. <laughs> look at it, look at them bony little chicken legs on this big old dragon. Like, how you walk on those? Like, it, this thing doesn't even look like it needs legs, you know? It just looks like one of those dragons that doesn't even need legs, but yep, it's got them chicken legs. <laughs> anyway, this is Chao Feng, Legend of the Yang Zing. All right, so it is a light attribute. Worm Synchro Effect Monster, it's level nine. All right, so. You gotta do a little bit of synchro, a little bit, you know. If you can, if you can whip out a Bionic, that's wrong, Trish. <laughs> you can whip out a Trish, if you can whip out a Mistworm, then you can whip this out as well. So, yeah, go for it. Uh, 2800 attack, 2200 defense, so stats are decent. I mean, I mean, I really can't say that your attack should be higher for a level 9 synchro since, I mean, look at Mistworm, but, you know, okay. You know, I mean, it's stronger than Trish, too, so... Alright, 2800 You need one tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. So, you know, it can't be just two monsters, but, you know, you probably want to do more with the Yang Zing. Because of his effect. So, let's go ahead and go over it. So, first effect. Discard with Synchro Summoned. Your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters with the same attribute as the original attribute of a, of a Yang Zing monster used by Synchro Summon of this card. That is a really freaking good effect. That is, that's freaking beautiful. Like... Yang Zing's, this, and this card might be Yang Zing's method of combating the meta. The only problem is they're slow. That's probably the biggest problem with Yang Zing is they're slow. If they could, if they could, you know, summon, if they got, like, some card, like, um, you know, oh my god, what's that card? Obedience School. You know, like, if you control no monster, your opponent controls monster, you can special summon three Yang Zing monsters from your deck, but you can only special summon Yang Zing monsters for the rest of the turn. If they got something like that, then maybe we could talk about this card. You know, because this card, this first effect is great. The, if your opponent has effect monsters, effect monsters, period, hand, deck, graveyard, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It's the same attribute as, as, as a Zhang Yun monster that uses the synchro material, then its effects are straight up negated. Just nope, nope, nope. And, of course, this card can actually do some things, because what's one of the tuners that Yang Zing's run in their deck? Yes, Jiao Tu. Jatsu says, all right, well, fuck your dolls, no, no effects, hand, deck, or graveyard, you know, uh, you know, burning abyss, no effects, hand, deck, or graveyard, fuck you, you know, um, you know, you could throw a little bit of, uh, the Chi Wen in there, you know, if you can, uh, get Chi Wen to go ahead and make this material, then, you know, you can go ahead and fuck up Telonites, and of course, if you get Bixie, you know, Bixie can easily, easily, easily fuck up necros like you can get this card out with bixie you know unaffected by traps stronger attack than you know like people are we're even thinking about siding in um you know cards like spell canceler because you know then they can't play and they can't really get over 18 without you know special something this thing they can't get over 28 without activating any water effects and hand deck i guess i hand deck are greater so water <laughs> new <No. laughs> so you know, you're just going to be pretty much just sitting on them non-juice and sound juice just trying to draw because no one else is doing anything. So, you know, you want to go ahead and try to, you know, prevent your monster from being destroyed? Nope. That you're dead. You're negated, you know? You want to try to block with Valkyrus? Nope. You're water. No. You're negated. Die. You know? It's like, wow. You know? And, uh, of course, if you use, like, um... Oh, my God. I forgot that one's name. No. The Earth one. Beyond. You can get Earth, the, you know, why the fuck would you want to do that? You know, I mean, what, what, Cleave? Nah, no, no, that wouldn't work, <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> anyway, that's the first effect. I know, that's just the first effect. I just sat here and discussed just the first effect. It got more, it's got more, this card isn't done. When this card is synchro, when the synchro summon card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, I doubt that's ever going to happen. I doubt that anybody's going to be like, oh, yeah. Yang Zing, that's totally how you beat them. You have to destroy them by battle or by card effect. You gotta destroy them. That's how you beat Yang Zing. No, they'll probably try to castell you or handle you in some other method. Probably castell. 
You know, they can't, I mean, if you use Bixie, they can't one on one you, but they can't cast spell you because not a lot of decks are on the wind. The wind's not even that good. So, oh, I'm not affected by spells, you know. Well, at least you're not affected by Snatch still, so. I guess that's the thing, but, yeah. Anyway, its effect if it's destroyed by battle, been sent, or by card effect, and sent to the graveyard. You can add one tuner monster from your deck to your hand. Tuner monster, period. You know? So, that can be, of course, that could be another Jow too. That could be Chi Wen. But, you know, some Yang Zing decks run tuners outside of Yang Zing. It doesn't say Yang Zing tuner, it says a tuner. A tuner. So, you know, there's some um, Yang Zing deck run Mass Chameleon. Go ahead and grab Mass Chameleon. You know, like in, uh, you know, Cosmic U Bell and Lime and Y. I'm running Mass Chameleon, so I can go ahead and. Add Mass Chameleon, you know, or uh, you can add, I know some decks run uh, Junk Synchron, because you can go like Junk Synchron, summon like Bixie, Armadies unaffected by trap cards or something, but well, <coughs> you can grab him too, you know, just this tuner period from your deck to your hand, you know, that seems like it would be a really, really good deck if it wasn't, you know, attached to a Yang Zing body, you know, I mean, he is generic, so, you know, if you, if you can, go ahead and, uh, you know, Synchro Summon, he can go in, but you just won't get your, you know, your first effect, which is probably the meat and potatoes of this card, you know, because he didn't Synchro Summon using any monsters, but he is generic, you know, and when he is destroyed by battle over card effect and sense graveyard, you do need to search for a tuner, but I'd say, if you're not running Yang Zing, it ain't worth it. Anyway, and it has another effect, and it done, hold on, hold on, hello, hello, once per turn, when an opponent's monster, monsters, uh, your opponent controls, is destroyed by battle or by counter effect. You can special summon one one type monster from your deck and defense position with attributes is the same as at least one of the original attributes who destroyed monsters had. Okay, so pretty much because that, that that was really confusing to read, but pretty much suggested when on your opponent's you know when your opponent's monster you know one of them is destroyed by battle or by counter effect. You can special summon one Yang Zing monster, and uh, the attribute that you summon, in defense position, but the attribute that you summon has to be in uh, defense position. But it has to be the same attribute. That's pretty much the gist of it. So, you know, if your opponent has a dark monster, you can go, all right, attack. If you kill it, then bam, get yourself a nice, pretty Jiaotzu or that other guy, you know, in defense position. In defense position. So it's kind of like the reverse of, uh, uh, of Yang Zing. Instead of being like, hey, you destroy us, and we'll summon some another Yang Zing. This guy's like, hey, we'll destroy them, and then we'll summon the Yang Zing. So not only do you destroy your opponent's monster, and then they, of course, you know, lose resources, but then you get the plus off of them losing resources. You know, And the reason why it's all confusing, I have to step out, is because instead of simply just saying, you know, a monster that this card can destroy, they decide to say, you know, but just straight up. When your opponent's monster is destroyed by battle or by card effect, straight up. So even if another monster on the field, you know, uh, destroyed, as long as you summon a, as long as it's a, you know, a worm type monster, so you have to be Yang Zing, worm type monster, just showing from your deck in defense position, who has the same attributes as, you know, at least one of the monsters destroyed. So let's say your opponent has like a fire, a water, a earth, a dark, and a light, and you kill all of them, you can go ahead once per turn, you can go ahead and. Uh, summon one of your one time monsters from your deck whose attribute is the same as at least as one of those one of those you know uh, like I said it's just kind of like the reverse Yang Zing when it comes to that it's kind of like you know Yang Zings are kind of defensive deck they're kind of slow but this guy's like hey let's go on the offensive let's you know tear up and summon more of our partners you know it's kind of nice that they said in defense vision because that would be kind of dumb if you can go ahead and go attack and then some but this card is that effect is only spell speed one so i guess they're just like you know what let's just go ahead and put it it doesn't say like you know once per turn any place turns and it's not like you can activate this shit during the damage step so it's literally like all right uh you know chow fang you kill your monster all right main phase two i'll go ahead and use my thing it says once per turn it didn't say during either player's turn or anything along those lines so it's only spell speed one for this effect um Overall, I just think that this card's actually pretty good, you know, its first effect is great, and if you can pull that off, then, you know, you're going to be great in advantage. Uh, the second effect, I'm not sure if you would ever get off, but, you know, it's decent too. And then the third effect, just it's kind of like a, you know, turn of the tables. Oh, time to go on the aggressive. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is uh, Chao Feng, Legend of the Yang Zing. So, 
I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So tell me what you guys think about this card. And I think, like I said, I think there's another Yang Zing card. I might review it. I might review something different. But, you know, as a Cosmic U-Bell player on uh, Five Minute Wine Thursdays, I'm just like, you know what? Let me go ahead and talk about this card, you know? I know I have Miss Swerve in my back, and I really don't summon it ever. But, uh, you know, if I can maybe summon uh, Chao Fang, then maybe we can lock it down. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that. So... Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and I will see you guys on Thursday with another card to look at. Alright guys, thanks for watching.